what is like the biggest lesson learned for you, you know, out of all these, you know, experiences and, you know, something that you want to share with the audience as we wrap up this episode? Artist comes first. Always. Man. Artist comes first. That's, that's how it always is. You know, I, I, I think me being an artist in my early stages of my career in music allowed me to be in the same wave as them. I understand, or at least I would like to think that I understand how they think, I understand what they're going through, I understand the pressures they're going through, which allows me to do my job better, right? Because now I also know, yeah, bro, you just did eight hours of promo. Yeah, me asking you for a tweet is probably not going to be smart for me to ask right now. Let me ask you yep. that tomorrow morning, right. right? Or like when I call you or when I check in with you, let me actually talk to you on a daily basis and not just hit you up once a week with a, hey, can you do this? Because we have this partner or because of this campaign, mm -hmm. right? Like these are things that I, I wanted that sort of conversation with me when I was coming up as an artist. Yeah. You know, like that's how I wanted to be approached. I wanted to be humanized. I wanted to be regular when you speak to me. I didn't want to just be a, a job or feel like a job. Like, and artist comes first. That's where it comes down to. The artist comes first. We are helpers of these brilliant people. Yeah. And we are resources and we are a guide and we are, you know, sometimes a graphic designer, sometimes a therapist, sometimes a web designer, sometimes your content person, <laughs> right? But at the end of the day, the artist comes first and we are here to support them because they're the ones putting it all out in the line for real mm -hmm. like it is so difficult to be an artist a lot yeah. of what they're going through is a lot that we would probably never go through or will ever experience and i want that to go back we have to go back to 2021 where it's like yo executives managers you are not the star like we are the people that are supposed to help artists get to the pinnacle of their vision. And that's where it always comes down to. If you keep that in mind, if you stay pure to helping artists out and helping people out, which is also the part about this that becomes weird because people mm -hmm. are like, yeah, I want to help artists. Well, do you even like helping people out in the first place? Because this is what this is at the end of the day. <sighs> it's like, a different this is just about helping people out, right? Yeah. Helping people get their dreams out into the world. And if they happen to be musicians, that's how we help them out, right? Like if that's where you are, the purest of your core is you just want to help people out. You want to be a resource or an artist, you're going right. to be good. And that's the one thing I, I learned from all of this, from my whole journey is that, you know, I am here to help artists out. I am here to be an artist helper. And, you know, that's where it is. That's, that's where I fit. That's my purpose here. And, you know, that helped me throughout my career. Like that, as long, that was always my center, no matter what, no matter what label gig I was in, no matter what executive I was in, I always, I was kept it with what did the artist feel? What, where does the artist stand on this? Uh -huh. And you know, how do they envision this conversation? And then we can go from there, but it always starts at the artist.